this is an act of righteousness and this one act of righteousness will change your life the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Armstrong thank you for joining us if this is your first time here Make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 without faith it's impossible to what please him do you want to please god or don't you so it's going to require some faith without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to god who's the he that comes to god you are he that comes to god must something must believe that he is say believe that he is, that he is. so this is the faith that he's talking about it pleases god when you believe he is mm -hmm. is what well is that he exists first of all right yep. but it goes a lot deeper than that I preach on these things regularly that the Holy Ghost he is God mm -hmm. and he is in the earth today he that comes to God must believe that he is who are we talking about Holy the Holy Ghost is he is God he is in the earth today he that comes to God must believe that he is are you here you know how many churches don't believe that or certainly don't put it into practice mm -hmm. are they pleasing God no. they're not pleasing God you're pleasing God mm -hmm. you please God listen you please God when you believe he is and they and. and now a lot of people might have believed the first things that I said that the Holy Ghost is God and that he is in the earth today but they're not believing the and and if you don't listen if you don't believe the and you're still not pleasing him right. must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them talking about faith believe that he rewards them a lot of people have a problem with that don't you know you've met them haven't you they have a problem with you believing that the Holy Ghost is God and that he is in the earth today and that he is actively rewarding you mm -hmm. this pleases God this is what faith is say this is what faith is, this is, what faith is. I'm called listen I'm called to speak words that will take you there will take you here and if you can hear them you can go there if you can't hear them I'm probably just annoying you <laughs> I believe in saying God's words yes. listen to that again I believe in saying God's words this is an act of righteousness and this one act of righteousness say act of righteousness, act of righteousness. will change your life speaking god's words i believe in speaking god's words whose words god's words the holy ghost's words well if you do that diligently he will reward you psalms 103 verse 1 bless the lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits so if you're not forgetting them you're remembering them mm -hmm. yeah. and then he goes on to say some of the benefits who forgives all thine iniquities a certain benefit right yeah. who heals all thy diseases who redeems thy life from destruction who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that youth is renewed like the eagles these are all benefits listen that you can expect to be rewarded with 
and if you're not expecting to be rewarded with these benefits you're not pleasing god you're not doing what he told you to do in hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. does it please god when you believe him for his rewards yes. Yes. or his benefits you could call it those are benefits mm -hmm. thou shalt remember or not forget that it is the lord thy god that it is he that gives thee power to get wealth it's a reward that god has and he gives to you when you diligently seek him mm -hmm. and it pleases him when you believe that he is mm -hmm. and that he is the one rewarding you are you getting this mm -hmm. well we can see just from those two verses of scripture while well, the, the the ones in psalms 103 and deuteronomy 8 18 that he forgives all your iniquities he heals all your diseases mm -hmm. say all. all he redeems your life from destructions right yes. renews your youth mm -hmm. and then he gives you power to get wealth yes. sounds like a pretty good deal mm -hmm. i would serve a god like this yes. i believe that he is and that he rewards me with those things yes. that's my faith put your faith in a nutshell it would be that i believe god the holy ghost is mm -hmm. and that he rewards me with those things well, like it or not you partake of the grace of the preacher or the minister that you're under or listen to mm -hmm. especially if you're giving to them you partake of that grace that's on them are you here yes. if you don't like what you hear and see in me then you should go somewhere else because it will get on you this will get on you say this, this. will get on me you see I'm established here in these things I'm from the establishment these things work for me in me and for me and they will work for you too yes. get that straight these are not some made-up thing this is straight chapter and verse mm -hmm. i believe that god is and that he rewards me with these things yes. these things work mm -hmm. for everyone who will work them thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth that he may establish i'm from this establishment i've been established and am being established in more of these things yes. that he may establish his covenant his covenant means his promise mm -hmm. that he may establish his promise that he swear or said mm -hmm. unto thy fathers as it is this day it is this day mm -hmm. say it is this day, it is this day. This day. say it is, for me, it is for me this day so in the promises that he swore is the establishment that you're supposed to be in i'm from that establishment and i'm telling you to get in yes. or get out psalms 81 verse 10 open wide thy mouth and i will fill it now i've heard this preached before i've probably preached it myself before that you know when people are receiving the holy ghost it is it's a good verse to encourage them that they have to open their mouth and speak words they speak by the unction of the holy ghost but they have to open their mouth and speak it's also used by preachers because sometimes they don't know what they're going to preach about and you know and the whole, they open their mouth they start preaching and all of a sudden say all of a sudden they have some revelation from god and they're able to preach are you here so this verse has been used that way mm -hmm. open thy mouth wide and i will fill it but if you look up the word fill it it means to fulfill when you open your mouth he fulfills what you said this is how you walk with god you open wide your mouth 
and he fulfills what came out of your mouth are you here yes well we have promises mm -hmm. and i'm establishing his words that he swore mm -hmm. i open wide my mouth and he fulfills it yes. what's my job to fulfill it mm -hmm. no my job is to open wide my mouth mm -hmm. and then he does the fulfilling he does the rewarding mm -hmm. he fulfills the scriptures you say mm -hmm. and therefore he does not fulfill the scriptures you don't say mm -hmm. and that's where most believers are this is how you want it to work mm -hmm. i want it to work some other way no you don't you think you do but this is better say this is better this is better you opening your mouth and him fulfilling it mm -hmm. is better and once you get it this way you will never go back to the old worn out way that didn't work <laughs> this works yeah but i but i haven't prayed or begged and it came to pass mm -hmm. you've been so brought up in this religious way that you feel like that if you didn't fulfill that then somehow you don't deserve the thing that came to pass mm -hmm. i know i've been there i'm telling you about it mm -hmm. i've had things come to pass and manifest in my life by me just saying his scriptures i didn't pray about it i didn't ask him about it why would i ask him about it if is this your will he wrote it down chapter and verse his covenant his promise i put it in my mouth he fulfills it and i feel bad somehow because i didn't check off all of my religious boxes mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. it's different this is different than the old way where we pray and we pray and we pray and we beg and we pray and we plead and we plead and we pray pray and we beg and we pray mm -hmm. and what happened mm, nothing but I didn't do any of that and I did this I just said his word and I said his word and I said his word and I said his word and something happened yes. you know what happened God was pleased mm -hmm. and there's an inward knowing that comes with that pleasing and once it once you've been there you'll never go back you just know he's pleased on the inside there's no great word no wind blowing no nothing you just know yeah that was good you did good mm -hmm. you believe god is and that he rewards you and that pleases him mm -hmm. when you're diligent well i'm from the establishment i'm in here i'm in this space i live here and these things work for me say it these things, these things work, for me. work for me and when they work for you you have the reward mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. yeah but i didn't pray i didn't feel sad like i'm supposed to i don't know if my heart's right i didn't inquire as to whether it be his will or not no you inquired when you looked it up and found it That's right. see we've come out of doing things to a new way mm -hmm. you used to feel say feel. feel you used to feel righteous when you would ask jesus to come and do something for you you would feel righteous when you would do some kind of pious sort of feeling guilty sort of feeling bad but in this new world this new way of speaking god's word mm -hmm. something feels off because it's not the same it's not that you're off usually it's just no feeling mm -hmm. i used to have the feels now i don't you can have the feelings or you can have the results of the word being spoken it's your choice go with the reward 
you may have to spend some time mourning the old religious you because you liked to do it that way they keep going back to the old way mm -hmm. because they like it that way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i'm not talking pre getting saved i'm talking being a religious saved person who even prayed in other tongues and thought he was doing things right mm -hmm. i'm sorry mr old me but you're gone i don't do things that way anymore and i don't walk with a lot of people who don't walk in this new way anymore they don't understand it they don't like it and i don't want to hear all that garbage anymore mm -hmm. but they won't go here don't be one of them make sure you go here they're all wrapped up there's some kind of self-righteous wonder trying to go about righteousness their own way the righteousness of faith speaks say the righteousness of faith, the righteousness of faith speaks. Speaks. speaks being right with God that's what righteousness means right we're talking about being right with God we believe he is and that he's rewarding us the way to do that is to speak yes. not to feel but speak yes. I hope I'm getting this across mm -hmm. you know what I mean by mourn right you mourn someone that you liked being around you, you mourn them for a period of time you have to get over it you have to get over it i was with them and i liked them and now they're not there i i mourn them for a period of time are you here mm -hmm. and i'm talking about my old uh, people that i used to run with mm -hmm. in my christian circles that i was in but they refused to go here mm -hmm. i can't go there anymore because they won't go here let's look at verse 2 for I bear them record that they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to what establish their own righteousness mm -hmm. so they're trying to establish something that's their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness which is of God there's a rightness which is of God that works and there's a righteousness that's of man where you feel like you're righteous mm -hmm. that's just plain annoying yeah. mm -hmm. go down to verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith is this in your Bible mm -hmm. speaks does it beg no it speaks on this wise say not now the number one thing that the righteousness which is of faith does is it stops saying some things mm -hmm. you want to be right with God you need to stop saying some things it's the cessation of one way so you can enter into a new way you stop saying things the old way so you can enter in you have to stop saying something mm -hmm. right you have to stop saying th some things if you're going to enter into the thing that god has for you yes. by saying mm -hmm. the righteousness which is of, of faith speaks on this wise verse 8 well let me read on say not in thine heart who shall go into heaven that is to bring christ down from above and I don't know why people are confused over that that's literally saying I want Jesus to come down and do something for me mm -hmm. it stops saying that yes. he's not going to and he won't do anything for you he did the one thing you needed that was send the Holy Ghost into the earth to be with you right. the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise verse 8 but what saith it the word the righteousness of faith speaks on this side on this wise what saith it the word this is the establishment you say the word mm -hmm. as it is this day the right way is to speak the word how can I be righteous with God the right way is to speak mm -hmm. the word yeah. Say the right way, the right way is, to speak is to speak the word. I believe in saying the word. 
it's the righteousness of faith whether I feel like it or not I believe in saying the word mm -hmm. <laughs> and then verse 10 goes on and says with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that's the word soteria it literally means deliverance prosperity healing whatever it is you need the promise you speak it until or unto the promise mm -hmm. i've done it time and again and you will too do it prove it and please god say do it do it prove it, prove it. Please God. please God I'm not saying please God <laughs> I'm pleasing God yes. can you see that yes. can you see how speaking his word pleases God yes. it's his righteousness mm -hmm. it's his faith mm -hmm. this singular act of righteousness establishes me in his yes. remember it says God gives power to get wealth that he may establish his mm -hmm this singular act of righteousness speaking his word mm -hmm. establishes me in his whatever it is he said his promise yes. i hope i can get this across this say this singular, this singular act, act of, righteousness of righteousness establishes me, establishes me in, his. in his and we do it unto does this please god don't even tell me it doesn't please God it pleases him I'm telling you it pleases him and when you have this working which you're going to do you will never go back you'll never go back to sickness you'll never go back to poverty you'll never go back to the opposite of whatever that promise says and you'll never go back to begging or asking Jesus to come down and do it for you he doesn't need to you believe God is is where he is in the earth mm -hmm. and that he's rewarding you when you are right when right standing with him and you're in right standing in him, with him when you're speaking his word yes. say I'm in right standing, I'm in right right standing, standing with, with him, him. With when, him. I'm when I'm speaking his word, his word. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received mm -hmm. not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God or the spirit who is God mm -hmm. that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God mm -hmm. why have we received this Holy Ghost who's come into the earth mm -hmm. so we can know the things yeah so we can know the rewards mm -hmm. we believe he is and that he's rewarding us mm -hmm. so we can know the things that are freely given to us of god verse 13 which things also we speak mm -hmm. what's the also mean they've already been spoken mm -hmm. he spoke them first also we speak we're walking with him by speaking in agreement with his word and that pleases him and we are rewarded through that mm -hmm. act of righteousness are you getting this yes. that we might know the things that we might know the rewards mm -hmm. also we speak that I might know the reward I also speak what am I speaking his reward his promise he spoke them first second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 says all the promises of God are yes and amen he spoke them first and already said yes, yes. Deuteronomy 8 18 says that he swore he already swore them mm -hmm. meaning said them with intent mm -hmm. also we speak them why are we speaking them that we may be re rewarded with those things I think I'm getting it across psalms 112 verse 1 praise ye the lord blessed is the man that fears the lord and delights greatly in his commandments verse 2 his seed shall be mighty where 
on the earth is this true yes is this a word of god mm -hmm. his seed shall be mighty in the earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed let's see what blessing is verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house and his what righteousness endures forever these words listen these words that you're saying that are establishing you in his rewards mm -hmm. are for now and forever say now, now. And, and forever they don't just work now they work now and forever everybody goes oh it's it'll work forever when we get to forever mm -hmm. they forget about the now well I am that I am he said I am and I say I am that I design the life that I'm living by the words that I'm saying I live it and others follow watch me join me Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard this word this evening and they're beginning to change the way they say things beginning to speak only in agreement with your word and as they do says the Spirit of the Lord I will quickly begin to remove the old things from their life and establish them in the new they won't even recognize themselves when I'm done with you thank you Holy Ghost we worship you in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are a living God I believe you are in the earth today and I believe you are rewarding me I give and it's given unto me good measure press down shake it together and running over do men give into my bosom I thank you for it in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth to 